how to eat a cookie every day and keep your blood sugar normal welcome to our video i know what you're thinking how to eat a cookie every day and keep your blood sugar normal that's like that doesn't sound right well we know what you're thinking is that even possible well i am here to show you that yes it is now if you're a keto person and you're gonna blame me scream at me yell at me for making a horrendous video like this thank you and goodbye if you are open-minded and want to listen welcome aboard before we dive into the tips and tricks for maintaining healthy blood sugar levels while indulging in occasional this favorite treats that you love let's first understand why it is important to do so i call this the cookie conundrum now back to the main question at hand how we can eat a cookie every day and still maintain normal blood sugar levels now cookies are typically high in sugar and carbohydrates which we, we know that right cause blood sugar spikes all that stuff but fear not because there are ways to enjoy these beloved cookies without negatively affecting your blood sugar tip number one well of course portion control the key is the moderation there are cookies this size there are cookies this size right well instead of eating a whole box or a huge cookie in one sitting man we have been all there depressed and tired whatnot but you need to limit yourself to just one small cookie a day that's what we're talking about you can still satisfy your sweet tooth without overloading your body with excess sugar and carbs now tip number two i would say choose your cookie wisely not all cookies are created equal instead of reaching for that sugar laden cookie opt for ones that are low in sugar and made with whole grains more natural sweeteners or more like on the with more butter etc you can also make your own healthy and delicious cookies at you know home for example using alternative ingredients like almond flour and butter or peanut butter and so forth please don't be fooled because sometimes they'll say you know you'll go to the supermarket and you'll see sugar free well it doesn't say carb free right it's a common misconception that sugar free cookies are a free pass for unlimited indulgence unfortunately that's not the case even if a cookie is sugar free it doesn't mean it is devoid of carbohydrates carbohydrates break down into glucose in our bodies contributing to our blood sugar levels just like the sugar does therefore consuming too many sugar-free cookies without that moderation in mind can still lead to a spike in your blood sugar levels and of course keep applying the tips that i am sharing in this video to avoid the blood sugar spike so keep watching number three timing is everything when you eat your cookie or when you eat your cookie matters just as much as what type of cookie you eat consuming a cookie after a high fat meal for example of course a healthy fat like avocado oil or olive oil can help slow down the digestion process overall and will prevent a sudden spike in blood sugar levels what i'm trying to say is if you eat a cookie when you're hungry and there's nothing in your stomach that cookie will get to your intestinal system and get absorbed so quickly and it will there's nothing to block the absorption so you will have a spike when you have a high fat meal sitting in your stomach that will slow down the overall absorption process even if you eat that cookie after your blood sugar is not going to be able to spike as fast because the absorption overall is slowed down now of course if you're eating it after dinner it will prevent you from overeating because when your stomach is full it's hard to eat more on top of that it is also important to avoid snacking on cookies throughout the day just don't do that you know, just eat after a high fat meal that is healthy fat 
Otherwise, your blood sugar will be in a roller coaster state. Tip number four. I would say, why not add some peanut butter? Everybody loves it. Here's a little secret for you. Adding peanut butter to your cookie surprisingly can help maintain your normal blood sugar levels. Well, how? Just like the high-fat meal, peanut butter is also loaded with healthy fats and protein, which will slow down the absorption. So if you're not in the mood of having a meal or waiting until a meal or whatever, then you can use the peanut butter trick. When you spread a thin layer of peanut butter on your cookie, you're not adding a tasty twist. That's, that's beside the point. We all love that. But it also helps to lower the spike. The rich, creamy texture and satisfying flavor of that peanut butter combined with your favorite cookie can, ten, can turn your daily treat into a healthier snack that is still indulgent. Now, isn't that a sweet deal? Number four, of course, you know, when you don't take all the tips, you will still fail. So you better watch all those tips and apply them all. You'll be happy about it. Take a walk post cookie, after the cookie, because regular physical activity, you know, helps our bodies use insulin more effectively, makes us more insulin sensitive, which in turn helps regulate blood sugar levels. So make sure to incorporate some form of exercise into your daily routine to help keep your blood sugar under control. And guess what? Eating that cookie is a great excuse to get your boot up and go for a walk. Believe it or not, a simple stroll around your neighborhood or even your office after enjoying a cookie can beneficially impact your blood sugar levels. Now, physical activity. We know that it prompts your muscles to absorb the glucose. So as a result, you don't need too much insulin to keep the blood sugars down. Orchestrating these tips will help your cookie indulgence. Having a walk means that you get to relish your blood sweet while making it far, far less likely for your blood sugar to spike dramatically. A win-win in our books. Remember, the cookie walk isn't a marathon. It's a gentle, brisk walk will do the trick. And don't forget your sugar empty supplements. Sometimes it's all about remembering things. Like, remember, all these tips are great for maintaining healthy blood sugar levels, but it's equally important to supplement your diet with the right nutrients or nutraceuticals I recommend taking the sugar MD supplements regularly or maybe take a few extra like gluco defense uh, in your case when you're eating your cookie, super berberine, benfotiamine, alpha lipoic acid. All these supplements are especially formulated to support the healthy blood sugar levels and overall wellness. And don't make your blood sugar only goal because as a diabetic, you have a lot of inflammation in your body. You need a lot of anti-inflammation and antioxidants, which what these supplements offer. They work synergistically with your dietary habits, contributing your body's ability to manage glucose. So go ahead and enjoy your daily cookie if you have to. But remember, balance and moderation is the key. And it includes your taking your supplements or medications if you're a medication person. But stay healthy, stay happy, and keep those cookies coming. Now, remember, this is not to encourage you to eat cookies. This is just to tell you that if you have to eat a cookie, this is how you do it. Get it? Don't blame me for encouraging eating cookies. That's not what I'm trying to do. I hope you're on the same page. And here's my final thoughts for you. Eating a cookie a day may not be the ideal thing, but if you have to occasionally eat a cookie a day, you have to remember you still have to have a healthy lifestyle, make it in a balance and moderation, take these tips along with your supplements, your medications, what not you need, and make it a guilt-free. Don't make yourself feel bad because you ended up eating a cookie. You are a human being. We are all in this together. So until next time, happy snacking. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Hey guys, I hope you're enjoying this channel so far and I hope you subscribed already. Uh, if you didn't, do it. And if you did, 
watch this video right there, I think that will help you too.